Hey guys, Skinboy3800 here. Once again, we're back in Beam, and today we're taking a look at another beta version of my pack. So we've got new features of adjustable add-ons to go through. We are going to start with the old Chevy 572 big block motor. This now has the option to be supercharged from the same supercharger as the 632 Chevy. So we have naturally aspirated, turbo, and supercharger options for this engine. So that gives you a ton of customization. The other thing I've done is if we go to the radiator, if we go to adjustable radi radiator, we'll now have some new options to play around with. So we go to tuning, and if you scroll down to the radiator, we now have a lot more options at our disposal to change with the adjustable radiator because the new base mod radiator for CD3 will have some adjustability on its own, like defectiveness and capacity. So I've added the size for both the radiator and the oil cooler, the effectiveness for the oil cooler, and the temperature for the thermostat for both of those cooling options. So you have way more control over the cooling of this truck. And I have also, you may have seen it before, give it, given it the option to be forward mounted. What does this mean? Well, let's just take a look. The radiator is gone. Where did it go? Nope, it's not gone at all. We just gotta take a look under the hood because now it hides beneath here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. As far as I can tell, there's no way to, like, give it damage yet in Beam. I mean, there is a way, but CRD doesn't have it because normally the radiator is so protected inside its cage there that it can't be damaged. So, uh, for now, it will behave like it's stock and not get any damage if we bu bump stuff with the front. But I would like to give it that ability to be damaged so that you can have like an overheating truck with leaking radiator and stuff. But right now it's just a different look. It's purely visual for the most part. The fans do work though. They all spin. You can see them all going there. But yeah, I do like the 572 with the supercharger it's got the same amount of power just about as the stock engine but it's got a lot more torque now let's put in that new motor The 632 Chevy Dart engine. And now we have the regular blower shut up here. But now we actually have another intake option. We have the high rise Holly EFI. So, what is this? Well, it is the naturally aspirated option from the Chevy 572. So this means we have supercharger and naturally aspirated intake options on the 632. This means we have as much horsepower and torque as the stock Merlin engine, but we don't have any supercharger to help us out. So we're naturally aspirated. It gives a very different driving uh, experience, I feel. One thing you do need to keep in mind is that this gearbox is pretty extended, so you may want to tighten up that first gear a little bit, or second gear a little bit more. So let's see how this does. We might get a little bit better throttle response out of this now. Yeah, that's a bit better. Got a very smooth power band, very usable power curve. And it doesn't sound too impressive. Like, it sounds like it's having a hard time, but we're actually going just as fast as we would be with a normal engine. 
We just don't have a supercharger. And I did this because Sin asked me, hey, that's a cool engine, but will it have an allowable amount of horsepower in like a community event? I was like, uh, no, it's got like 2300 horsepower from standard and the regular limit is 1800 horsepower, right? So, uh, yeah, so now with this setup, you can use it in a normal event of mine or something. Or if you wanted it to be fair, you could do that as well. And we get a good look at the radiator fan spinning there. And you probably saw it, but we also do have the option to put in the forward mounted radiator and a Shear D3. They are distinguished like that. Shear D3 is skinnier, so those radiator fans and stuff are skinnier on the Shear D3 version so that it fits better. And likewise, the Chevy 572 is also now in Shear D3 as well. So, yep, a lot more options for these big block Chevys. I have been focusing on Fords for a while with the, you know, Ford customizable engine and the Ford 632 Pro Charge motor. But this brings Chevy back into the spotlight. That will about do it for this uh, short update video. Uh, we've got some new intake options and engine options on a multitude of engine options on CD and 33. And then we have the updated adjustable radiator to be uh, more in line with the upcoming CD 3.0 uh, update that has a built-in adjustable radiator stuff and some new front-mounted radiator options as well. It'll give a different look. It won't really give any different performance for now unless, you know, it make the front radiator able to be damaged by hitting an impact hard enough or whatever. But that's for another update. That'll do it for now. I'll see you all in the future.